We are training under the uh, Special Pathogens Response Network uh, guidelines that the state of Michigan has developed to transport safely a patient who has a highly infectious disease, uh, such as Ebola, the Ebola virus, um, and transport the patient in a manner that protects the uh, care providers and also our ambulance from contamination so that everybody can quickly return to service and serve uh, the community and not uh, become a casualty of the, uh, the incident. So this is called an isopod and its purpose is to contain a, a wet patient, a patient who is actively uh, vomiting or having diarrhea or bleeding or in some way uh, oozing infectious materials that we don't want to expose our rescuers to or that our, our, our standard personal protective equipment isn't sufficient to uh, protect us from. They are invaluable again if you have a patient who's uh, highly infectious. The idea is that uh, the patient will be placed inside of it uh, and uh, any any invasive procedures that need to happen normally on a patient like this we would not do because uh, the jeopardy that we put the, uh, um, the isopod itself, the integrity of the isopod itself in. So we would monitor a patient, uh, provide them with palliative care, but uh, essentially we're, we're containing them in the isopod uh, for transport. It's a negative pressure vessel meaning uh, it's constantly having the air, filtered air, uh, drawn into it and filtered air uh, removed. That way, if there is a tear in the suit or a breach in the, uh, the pod, then any uh, um, pathogen or any contamination would be contained inside of it because all the air would be drawn through the leak instead of uh, in, in, into the isopod rather than be able to get out. So it would be safe for both an airborne or a bloodborne uh, type of pathogen. So the, the, also the benefit of the isopod is that it has uh, access ports that once the patient is inside, that we can safely uh, give the patient uh, food, water, uh, other uh, care for their comfort. Uh, through, we have a, a snorkel port where we can uh, feed our uh, oxygen, all of our heart monitoring, uh, blood pressure, pulse oximetry devices can fit through there, uh, and those can be decontaminated later and reused. Our training is in partnership with St. Joe's Mercy Hospital Oakland, who is one of the uh, handful of hospitals in Michigan that are rated to receive and treat a patient with a highly infectious disease such as Ebola, and they uh, they are also supplied with their own isopod, like this one.